41 degrees out. Chalk or not. Good morning, everyone. If you're new here, my name's Jeff. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going on a quick casual ride on my new Ripley. Been gone in the desert for the last month and a half, but it's nice to be home. Riding here at one of my favorite trailheads in the Chuckanuts. These trails are a little bit more natural than all the flow trails over on Galbraith. Noah's getting his arc ready because we've had so much rain recently. Hey there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey there. If you want to learn more about the new Ripley AF, I've got a link in the description below over to Jensen USA, and anything you purchase from Jensen will directly help support my channel. Man, things get a lot better once you hop on your bike. Misty woods. Gorgeous. Man, the dirt feels great. It's not even that soft right here. This forest does drain very quickly. Ooh, a puddle. First puddle of the day. Sure. Have a good afternoon, guys. Thanks. Normally I like to head up that way, but today we're gonna go straight. If you like this video, please do click that red subscribe button below. Let's go ride some trails. Afternoon there. Thank you. Have a good ride. You too, have a good day. And up the hill we go. I don't remember having gone left here onto Huckleberry, but doing it today. I can't be the only one who struggles to remember which way to go on local trails. Leave me a comment below if you can sympathize. Sitting on that bench right now would be what I call a soggy bottom mistake. I'm not gonna make that. The Ripley, while it doesn't climb the tech stuff quite as good as more of an Enduro bike, it's great on those mellow fire roady climbs that are just steep. Now this trail, I remember it being pretty cool. So let's check it out. What do you mean an Enduro bike is awesome on tech climbs? Well, no one really does tech climbs, so don't worry about it. When I say tech climb challenge, whoa, I do not mean incessant logging road. I mean like a short burst with a bunch of hops. Stuff that most folks don't do. Man, this trail is pretty beat. This is a north facing slope. So we have plenty of beautiful ferns, but we don't have great drainage. Yeah, once you get back into the more dense cedar section of the forest, the dirt gets a lot nicer. Oh, that's a pretty steep climb. Yeah, I've totally been here a couple times. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's try that green trail to Raptor Ridge. Let's see what happens. Ooh, now that's a mess. That's beyond my scope with my little saw. I wonder if I can move that log. I might not be crossfit enough to move this. Hey, look at that. Cool, squats yesterday are paying off. Raptor Ridge Trail, Hemlock Trail, Raptor Ridge Viewpoint. I believe this is us. And this is why I came this way to check out this not very heavily traveled portion of trail. Look at this death bridge. This is sketchy. Oh. Oh. Cheating. Oh. <laughs> that was squirrely. Cheated by touching the handrail, but hey, I didn't crash. Oh, I'm so going right over that next time. Maybe this would be a good tech climb for a challenge once things dry out in the springtime. I bet by April, I'll be able to get up this. Yeah. There we go. Not very good at this whole lifting the bike up. 
especially with the obstacle to my right. So one else has biked up here today. How's it going? Hi. Hey. Yeah, nice of that sun to come out today. <laughs> oh, is it called Huckleberry Road or something? Yeah, that's how I kind of it. And then up Huckleberry Point Trail. It was just like six or so big trees are down. I don't know if you noticed them, but they're <laughs> fiasco with bicycle in tow. Yeah, we go down Raptor to uh, Madrone. Cool. Madrone Crest. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we call that Hush Hush. <laughs> yeah, that trail's great because it feels like you're going uphill when you're going down it because it's so <laughs> soft and spongy this time of year. That's funny. You call it something else. No, Salal Trail is the one that we call Hush Hush. Salal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can imagine that's so muddy. Oh, I just can't believe the sun, man. Get it in while it's here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this right here is the new Ripley AF. 120 mils travel on the back. I have a 140 travel, 34 up front, comes stock with a little 130. Float DPS, little mini shock, pretty cool bike. I've been having fun on it. I set it up with Industry 9 carbon wheels. It's a 31 millimeter inner rim width with the Industry 9 Hydra hubs. And then I use their aluminum spokes. I really like that combo, stays tight. Industry 9 is also a great supporter of my channel. Thanks guys. I'm rocking PNW handlebar stem, loam lever. Uh, grips and on the new loam dropper seat post, 200 mils drop. Got a WTB Rocket 150 saddle and then a 2.6 Vigilante tough high grip in front and a 2.6 Trail Boss tough fast rolling in the back. I'm rocking my Shimano Saint flat pedals. Got Shimano GR9 shoes. Today's ride, doing some different trails, not because they're necessarily amazing to ride, just because they're different and they take you to cool spots in the woods. So it's a little adventurous and I like that kind of stuff. Let's go boogie down the climb I usually take to get up here. Okay, I'm not gonna fall right here because that would be the end. Oh, it's the free. So I did throw a volume reducer into the fork this morning. Feels nice. Ha, little drifter. Oh, much better. Yeah, the other way would have been a better descent. That's okay. I wouldn't have gotten a bunny hop that log if I went the other way. Sometimes you find gold, other times you get a little skunked. It's all about the adventure. This is called Hush Hush. This is called Salal Trail, depending on who you talk to. And these glasses are called Fogged Up, depending on who you ask. You guys can't see my glasses, cause you're on my chest. I'm not jumping that one right now. Oh. I believe I posted a video from this trail about a year ago. I bumped into Carson Icewald, who I need to do a video with. And man, oh. slidey. Yeah, this trail is so hard to ride in the wet. It definitely feels uphill as you're working your way down it here. Oh, what do you mean a downhill that's an uphill? Try it, you'll see. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's the corner that mountain bikers made easier because I couldn't do it with that rock right there. 
And then this section got made easier as well. Oh! In the summer, you can jump that thing like a big tabletop. Right now, not so much. All right, let's do a lens wipe. You know who's real good at lens wipes is Jesse Melamed, who won EWS stages while wiping his GoPro. Jesse's a good dude. We've never really like hung out or anything, but he was on the a minute or ever behind me at the Whistler EWS almost 10 years ago. And he passed me once on the very last stage, top of the world, back to town. We'd just gotten off the top of the world bit, like two thirds of the way down. Oh, yeah. He came hauling the mail, my hands were numb. I was done, I was sitting down, I couldn't even Squeeze my brakes anymore, so done. Well, this is gonna be a project to clean up. Wow. Haha, <laughs> that's fun. You get sections of speed in between all the various flat up hills. Oh. hard time with some of this stuff. My riding style is so designed around aggressive slack trail bikes. Um, I don't even know what the head angle is on this bike, but it's a lot steeper than what I'm used to. So I can't lean it as much as I would like. I can, but I gotta start to turn the handlebars. Now to counteract that, I gotta get myself really low and really far back and steer with my legs a lot. And that works. It's also a riding style that you guys are used to seeing on my channel. And I've been kind of adapting to the other bikes, the Chromag, the Rocky, the Norco, the Niner. I don't need to do that as much. I do kind of a different technique on those bikes. Would've been cool to wheelie past that tree, but I didn't want to risk getting a face full of bark. Not jumping that. Hi guys. Hi. Thanks, have a good day. Hey, have a good day. Hi there. Have a good afternoon. Oh, thanks guys. Have a good day. Thanks. This bike does nose wheelie really well. If I had a stiffer fork, it'd be even better, but it was all right. Thanks for joining me, guys. That was super fun. Hit that subscribe button below. Down in the, comp down in the description, you can see a link to the bike that I'm riding and leave me a comment. Did you have a good ride today? Hope you did. All right, peace guys.